Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Azure DNS and how to create a public zone in Azure DNS. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Okay, I'm logged on to the portal. I'm going to go on home and so before we start creating Azure DNS, let me tell you what is Azure DNS. Azure DNS is a hosting service for DNS domains that would provide name resolution. So we all know that the functionality of the DNS or domain name system is to provide name resolution. But Azure DNS would use Microsoft Azure infrastructure. And by hosting the domains in Azure, we can manage the DNS records by using the same credentials, you know, APIs, tools, and billing as any other Azure resource because that would come under your Azure portal, your Azure AD tenant. We can't use Azure DNS to buy a domain name. And uh, for an annual fee, we can buy a domain name by using app service domains or a third party domain name registrar. So it is reliable and it is good as far as the performance is concerned. So DNS domains in Azure DNS are hosted on Azure global network of DNS name servers. Azure DNS uses any cast networking. Each DNS query is answered by the closest available DNS server to provide fast performance and high availability for the domain. And as far as the security is concerned, Azure DNS is based on Azure Resource Manager, which is ARM, and it provides features, you know, it would have Azure role-based access control as far as your authorization is concerned. You can check for the activity logs to monitor how a user in your organization modifies a resource. It also comes with the feature of resource locking to lock a subscription, resource group or resource. And as far as uh, a component which is DNSSEC is concerned, Azure DNS does not currently support DNSSEC. In most cases, we can reduce the need for DNS by consistently using HTTPS or TLS in the application. And as far as ease of use is concerned, Azure DNS can manage DNS records for Azure services and provide DNS for the external resources as well. Azure DNS is integrated in the Azure portal and uses the same credentials. DNS billing is based on the number of DNS zones hosted in Azure and uh, it is customizable virtual network with private domains. Azure DNS also supports private DNS domains as well. We'll see how to create a private DNS zone in Azure DNS as well. All right. So if I you know, proceed with creating an Azure DNS zone and uh, public DNS zone and a record using the Azure portal. So I'm going to click on create a resource and I will go to DNS zone here. I'll click on create. And for here, the resource group test sir, DNS RSG. You can have anything you want. East US. And the name of this zone would be Contoso.xyz. Let me write it down. And I will do next. We'll do create. It's in progress. Validation is passed. I'm going to click on create. So it's submitting the deployment here. Deployment is in progress and deployment details, if you would scroll down, it will bring up the status as well. And if I tell you about the alias records, the deployment is failed, let me see why is not available. Got it. So what we're going to do is we'll click on delete. We'll do yes. I'm going to delete this deployment so that the no trace is left behind. I'm going to click on create a resource again. 
do DNS, DNS zone here it's public DNS zone you must be seeing private DNS zone as the second option right I'm going to use the existing RST name is I can use assert.xyz right tags review create it should have tested if this is domain name is available or not doing the validation but validation it looks for the parameters and the variable values that have entered so it must have checked the domain name availability while deploying that resource like it is doing now deployment is in progress so it must be checking the name availability see it is done right so I'm going to click on go to resource here I am I have my top record as well I have my properties and now if you would want to create an A record here you go here of, of right so if you would click record set right so you do www.assert.xyz type would be select A records are the most common but there are other record types for mail servers like MX or you can have IPv6 addresses as well which are four A's and so on so TTL would be time to live of the DNS A request specifies how long DNS servers and clients can cache a response so I'm going to say we can go with the default and uh, unit you can select for one minute one day one week let's go with one hour here so IP address for this video we'll go with this 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 10 right this value is the IP address the record name resolves to so if I do www dot .xyz it would resolve to 10.10.10.10 and uh, in a real world scenario in your production environment you would enter the public IP address of your web server if you have so since this video is just for quick testing purposes there is no need to configure the Azure DNS name servers at a domain name registrar with the real production domain you will want anyone on the internet to resolve the host name host name to contact your web server right so if you are running a production website you would want any person in the world to resolve to that particular website so you would have to uh, make changes on the domain name registrar as well right so if I click on OK here so it's creating a record set here so I have this so just in case I want to test it so this is the name server right so i'm going to copy it so i do this i'll do ns lookup here and i'll do dot sir dot x y z let's it cannot find so I'll do this and I would enter my name the name server name that I copied so it is resolving to my the public IP address so it timed out but it should have come to my should have resolved to 10 dot 10 dot 10 I should have got the reply from 10 dot 10 dot 10 it's not coming so if I want to check another one mm. I do this 
so it's getting timed out but this is the way you should check right so this is it so i hope this session was informative to all of you guys if you have any queries please mention them in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day